Hey friends, welcome back to the Azure DevOps series. Uh, in last video, we installed our self-hosted agent on our system and we saw it available in our default, uh, you know, uh, Azure pipeline. So uh, in this video, we will be uninstalling that agent. So basically, we are going to remove that agent from our uh, local system. And uh, once you have uninstalled it, uh, the agent would disappear from your uh, Azure uh, you know devops uh, agent pools so let's get started so what you need to do is you need to go into the folder where you have your uh, agent files located and from there like when you installed it you used the config.cmd command you will be using the same command but with a remove so let, let's see how we need to do that you type the same config.cmd space remove and it will start removing that service. It will ask you for authentication. Press enter for pat. I would press enter and it will ask for your pat, which is your personal access token. Use the same that we used in our last video. I'll just paste that and press enter and removing credentials removing agent success so it has successfully removed the agent if you go to our services and do a refresh you will see that agent does not exist anymore in your services uh, if you go to your devops agent pools you refresh and the agent has vanished so this is how you uninstall the self-hosted agent uh, it will be very handy you know if you need to change some configurations or you have had errors in your uh, while installing and you want to uninstall the half-baked uh, installation that went through so this this will be very helpful in removing any of the binaries or anything that has been left behind and do restart after you do an uninstall if you want to install it again and yeah that's it thanks for watching and keep supporting